I'm an independent filmmaker. I produce TV, film, and live events. And uh, I do the film festival with a board of directors, and we're all volunteers. You know, I work 24 hours a day, just like just like Blaze is always running around doing something. You know, um, Don Garza running around everywhere, right? That's just the way I am. I'm always at all the events. I'm always uh, networking. I'm always moving and shaking. I do the film festival to help my career as a filmmaker. Yeah. Because now, because the festival, I've been I'm, I'm been asked to be in all these committees that I mentioned, and I can call Lionsgate and Warner Brothers and Universal, and they pick up my call because they want to screen some of their films in the film festival, and they want to utilize some of the resources, and they want to come in and help us develop the festival as well. So that was a strategic move for me. But being a stakeholder in downtown Los Angeles, um, I lived in four different lofts in downtown. The last loft, Blaze, did you go see my last loft? No. The throne? Anybody? Somebody went. Who went? Don's not here. The lot, the last loft that I had at the Rowan building. You guys know the Rowan, right? Yeah. You know how they have the gallery? Downstairs. That alleyway downstairs. Wow. Okay. I had. They gave me two lofts, free, downstairs. Wow. Okay. One of them was a production loft to do stuff like this. Yeah. The one next door was um, a live workspace. If you guys go to my Facebook, there's a, a link for my photos where you see the loft. I got a, I got a furniture sponsor to give me free furniture. So I had like about fifty thousand dollars worth of furniture. Furniture. <laughs> then I, I had uh, of course a booze sponsor and a food sponsor and a mm. clothing sponsor. Um, so basically, I lived for, for free for nine months in the Rowan loft because the amount of publicity that we get for the festival and the amount of people that we bring in, the, the building developers see the value in bringing the kind of clientele that we bring into the festival and stuff. So they're like, Henry, stay here, live here, work here, and the movement that you bring is good for us. For example, we had a party one day, the next day one of my friends came back, wrote a $10,000 check to reserve a unit. Mm. You know, because every filmmaker has investors. And when they showcase their films, and, and the films reach their fruition to be showcased, um, the investors come because that's when they're celebrating that the work's being shown and in hopes that it'll pick up distribu distribution and such. So with all that in mind, um, I hope you guys can see like the way I think about not just being an artist, but also using art and business, and then business not just for me, but business in respect to the community overall. Right? So the reason the the reason why I'm here right now is because um, I've been developing uh, a, a concept for a TV show, mm. and the TV show it's a it's going to be a legitimate TV show. It's not going to be something that's going to be on YouTube. It's not going to be something that's going to be like um, on on some cable channel that nobody's going to see. Uh, I'm here to develop a show that will be produced by one of the producers from America's Next Top Model, one of the directors from America's yeah. Next Top Model. Mainstream. We're talking mainstream, yeah. we're, no joke, the real deal. You know, uh, a little bit backstory about me and film. I've had films at the major film festivals myself. There's no way that I could be a film festival director if I wasn't an accredited filmmaker. Wait, let me just say something. Right. I went to one of his openings of his film, and the President and, of the United that, States that, sent that a that note. Was, that film was a film that screened at Cannes Film Festival in France. Oh. It's like the most prestigious film yeah. festival. So, but the president sent a note. I said, "Whoa." <laughs> well, um, yeah. Well, back to the president. The president sent uh, opening remarks. Welcome to tonight's screening on behalf of the wow. president and whatever. And <laughs> of his wow. film. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so his PR people found out about you, and that's yeah. beautiful. That's networking. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I just mentioned that just so you guys could know that I, I'm not this guy that's trying. You know. You're doing. That it's it's already in things are in motion. So what I'm doing here today is one of the things that, that the premise of the of the show is um, it's not specifically about Skid Row films, but it is about Skid Row, and I think you'll understand the the concept of the show if I give you the title. The working title right now is called Hope on the Road. Look at my face. Okay. There's a glow on my face. Yes. That's magic hour. <laughs> Okay, look at the building. There's a golden glow on the building. Yeah. As photographers, this is lesson number one. The best time to shoot movies and to shoot pictures is magic hour. Because right now, I can take a poem and whisper it to someone. But because the lighting tonight makes it look meaningful and passionate. Right? This is 
where you get a kid driving into the sunset uh, on his little bike, someone holding hands, right? Or someone just like contemplating life. Because nature itself gives you this one hour of time where the light's got to come through the haze of the atmosphere. So it filters it and softens it a little bit. And it makes the golden hour. There we go. So they call it golden hour or magic hour. So now you know. Magic hour. Yeah.